What's up everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking another look into open source image generation with another major update on the Flux models. In a previous video, we explored the power of the Flux Schnell and Dev models, specifically their NF4 quantized versions. These models were already incredibly efficient, but get this, there's a new quantization method in town for image generation models called GUNF, and it's taking efficiency when using these models to a whole new level. Now, you might be wondering what exactly is GUNF? Well, it stands for GPT Generated Unified Format, and it's all thanks to a powerful library called Llama.cpp. Llama.cpp is revolutionizing the way we run large language models, making them accessible even on less powerful hardware. Normally, we usually associate GUNF quantization with text generation models, but apparently it's also very possible to quantize state-of-the-art image generation models with this same method as well. Initially focused on CPU-only inference, but also supports various GPU architectures, allowing for incredibly fast and efficient processing. GUNF leverages this efficiency, compressing model files without significant quality loss, making it perfect for resource-intensive tasks like image generation. Remember how the NF4 models took around 5 to 10 minutes for dev and 2 minutes for Schnell on my NVIDIA 4050? With the GUNF quantization, those times have been slashed. We're talking a minute and a half for dev and under 30 seconds for Schnell. And the best part? The quality remains phenomenal. Stay tuned, because in this video, I'm going to show you how to get these blazing fast GUNF models up and running in Comfy UI. We'll even add a LoRa node to the workflow, so you can easily incorporate your favorite LoRa's from Civit AI and enhance your images even further. And don't worry, I'll provide all the necessary links, including the workflow and model downloads, in the video description below. If you haven't already, Smash that like button and press the bell so you don't miss out on more awesome AI content. Alright, so let's get these Flux GUNF models up and running. Now, if you haven't already installed Comfy UI, don't sweat it. Just head over to the release page in the repo, link down in the description, download the Comfy UI Windows portable version, extract the zip file in a directory where you want to host the files. You can download and install the 7-Zip Archiver if you don't already have a way to extract zip files. Simply head over to the website and install the version for your system. Once Comfy UI is ready, it's time to grab our models. We'll need a total of 5 or 6 if you want both Schnell and Dev. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Links to all the models are down below. First up, the Flux GUNF models themselves. Click on the links that will take you to the Hugging Face model pages. You'll find different quantization sizes, like Q4, Q5, 6K, or Q8. Different GUNF quantization sizes represent a trade-off between model size and performance, specifically in terms of quality and resource requirements. I'm rolling with the Flux Dev Q4 GUNF. It's a smaller quant with a great balance of speed and performance, especially when using LoRa's. Now we will download the clip text encoder models. We need to download two of them, one which was released by OpenAI called Clip Vit Large Patch 14 and the other released by ComfyUI called T5XXL. You can just grab the FP8 version of the T5 in order to save on storage space. Then, we will grab the Flux VE for decoding those awesome images. And finally, you can grab any Flux LoRa model from Civit.ai or Hugging Face. I'm using the Xlabs Flux Realism LoRa for that photorealistic touch. Now, let's organize. In your main Comfy UI folder, open the Models directory. Put the Flux GUNF models in the UNET folder. Clip models in the clip folder.
the VE model in the VE folder. and your LoRa model in the LoRa folder. All right, we're almost done. Download the Flux workflow from the link in the description. Now we need to navigate to your custom nodes folder inside the ComfyUI directory to add the ComfyUI GUNF extension that will allow us to load the GUNF models. Open your ComfyUI folder and go into custom nodes. Once you're in the custom nodes folder, Type CMD in the File Explorer address bar. Hit Enter. This will open up your command line terminal inside the custom nodes directory. First, make sure you have Git installed. Git lets us download GitHub repositories of all kinds of applications, which we'll need in a sec. If you don't have it, just do a quick Google search for Git download and grab it from the Git SCM website. Install it like any other program, and we're good to go. Now we need to clone the repository. Type git clone, followed by the link to the ComfyUI GUNF repository. Hit enter, and let git work its magic. Once that's done, type cd to go back one folder, and then cd again to be back in the main ComfyUI directory. Now, one last command to install a special Python libraries that the GUNF extension needs. Copy the Python command from the repo. Paste it into the terminal and press enter. Now, Head back to your ComfyUI Windows Portable folder and run either runcpu.bat or run NVIDIA GPU.bat. Depending on your setup, this will finalize the installation and open the ComfyUI web interface in your browser. Once you're in, hit load in the right hand menu and select the Flux GUNF workflow you downloaded. Make sure ComfyUI sees your models by checking the arrow in the checkpoint loader. Type your prompts in the clip text and code boxes, positives up top, negatives below. Though Flux models aren't as picky as stable diffusion about negatives. If you're using Schnell, dial those steps down in the K sampler node to around 4. If you want higher quality outputs, crank up the resolution, but keep in mind, It'll take a bit longer to generate. If you're ready to start, hit Q prompt to start generating. Generations with this workflow should be a lot faster and can sometimes maintain close to the same quality as higher precision versions. I'm really happy that this method is now possible and can really help everyone crank out more off the wall images in a lot less time. And there it is. You're all set to experience the speed and quality of the Flux GUNF models in ComfyUI. Experiment with different LoRa's, play around with the settings, and watch as those stunning images come to life faster than ever before. If you run into any roadblocks, drop a comment below. I'm here to help. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more AI adventures. Until next time, happy creating!